Hi, it's Teresa from Dodge Nature Center and time for another Nature to Go. So the other day during a Minnesota wildlife class, a group of students and I found something on the trail. It was small and gray, and so right away they assumed it was a mouse. But we noticed it didn't have very big ears. You couldn't even see any ears. And the tail was pretty short, so it wasn't a mouse. And then they noticed it had sort of a long pointy nose, so they thought maybe it's a mole. But the front feet weren't very big, and moles have really big front feet for digging, so it wasn't a mole. It wasn't a mouse. What could it be? Well, what we found out on the trail is one of Minnesota's most amazing mammals. It's our smallest mammal, it's our most voracious mammal, and it's also the only venomous mammal that we have in Minnesota. What is it? It's a shrew. Shrews are common throughout Minnesota, but are rarely seen because they spend most of their time underground. And what are they doing underground? Well, that's where the voracious part comes in. Shrews have an extremely high metabolism. They can't go for more than a few hours without food, so they're eating constantly, day and night, with short breaks to rest. And it's not just a little bit that they're eating every day. They will eat the equivalent of their body weight each day. Being mostly underground, they eat lots of worms, plus beetles and centipedes. Above ground, they'll eat seeds and fruits, fungus, spiders, and other mammals. Yes, other mammals. Since they're our smallest mammal here in Minnesota, that means they're going after animals bigger than they are. And how do they do it? Well, shrews are venomous. When they attack a mouse or a vole or even another shrew, yes, they are extremely territorial, glands by their lower jaw release venom that mixes with their saliva and enters wounds made when the shrew bites its prey. The venom paralyzes the prey, so the shrew can come back to the prey several times for a meal. Scientists aren't sure if shrews are immune to the venom of other shrews. There's a fabulous video from National Geographic showing a shrew attacking a snake and two shrews fighting. It's just amazing. Look at this one later. Now, you might think something as small as a shrew would be prey for lots of other animals, but most predators avoid them. And that's because shrews give off a really foul odor. Animals that locate prey using smell leave shrews alone. But shrews still have to be on the watch for things like raptors, hawks and owls, which don't have much of a sense of smell and so aren't hunting using that. But there's more. Shrews echolocate like bats. Since their eyesight is poor, they use echolocation and their extremely sensitive whiskers to figure out what's around them and then avoid running into things like roots and rocks and other obstacles. So they echolocate not to find food, but to not hurt themselves as they wander around underground. Shrews, they're tiny but fierce. Thanks for joining me for this episode of Nature to Go. And we'll talk to you again next time.